today I want to just deal with the topic. You're not alone. You are not alone. Now I want to just say before I even get to the scripture. How many of you have been to a place. Where even if you've got friends. You've got acquaintances and stuff. When you switch that light off at night. Do you ever feel like you're alone? Do you feel like God I can't take this anymore? I can't push through anymore. I can't carry this load anymore. Whatever the crisis is. Whatever the issue is. I want to tell you right now, you are not alone, right? God loves you and God is busy with something in our nation and God is going to bring us through because we are his children. Hebrews 13 verse 5, and I'm just going to deal with the, the second half of the verse. Okay, Hebrews 13 verse 5b, all right? For himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I want to tell you right now, the threat, particularly in this time, I want you to know it might look like a crisis time. I want you to know God has not left us. God has not forsaken us in Jesus' name. In fact, God is calling on the church. God is calling on the church and said, church, stand up. Use the authority that I've given you. But if you are in that crisis, if you are in that turmoil, you know, last night we were monitoring and keeping tabs on people all over the place. We were constantly on the phones and stuff, just checking that people are okay. So I want you to know something. We need to know that God is with us. When you're in that time of crisis, know that God is right there with you. In that time of need, God is right there with you. And so if you are not in that direct, immense pressure of crisis, you know, it's something when you phone somebody and they're in that intense pressure because people are walking past their properties or whatever's happening. I want you to know, and you pray and the peace of God comes in there. And all of a sudden they feel a shift in the atmosphere. And then there's calm for the rest of the night. I want to tell you right now already, I've had lots of testimonies of supernatural things happening in the neighborhoods or around the areas just in last night. Okay, and so I want you to know, saints, we are in this together. We are in this together. You are not alone. There are men and women that are praying, men and women that are calling on God, men and women that are creating a spiritual umbrella over this nation in Jesus' name. But we are not in this thing alone. We are not going to do it in our own strength. We are going to do it in the name of Jesus under the power and unction of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Satan is not going to get our nation. He's not going to get his way here. The church of Jesus Christ is going to push back and we are going to push back strong and hard. Not in our own strength. We are going to do it under the power of God, releasing God's word and releasing the anointing and the power of God over our nation. This whole thing is driven by a demonic spirit. And God, as we pray, is restricting those demonic spirits. And angels are being released all the time to minister and to do things in the, in the places where we are praying. And so saints, I want to thank you, first of all, for coming together with the big prayer meetings and praying together. But secondly, I want to thank you for committing to pray 24-7 over our nation. So that if we're ever sleeping, there's somebody praying and keeping our nation before God. Now I want to make something very clear. This is not just for a crisis time. This is when things are going well. We're going to keep praying and keep the demonic assignments off this nation. Because we want the power of God, Senior. We want the blessing of the Lord. We want the manifestation of God's presence in our nation. We want our nation to be a nation where we sense the power of God. And where God is leading us. Where God is directing us. God is bringing us into places of influence. Places of performance. So that this nation can reach its destiny. God has a plan with this nation. But it rests on the church. It rests on you and I, but it starts with this. Make sure you understand and have a revelation that no matter what happens, no matter how bad things come around or look, God has never forsaken us. He will never leave us. God is right there with us in Jesus' name. So today, as we come around the table, 
I want us to celebrate the price that Jesus has paid in Jesus' name. Let us thank God that he has paid the price and he said that he will never leave us nor forsake us. We are never alone. No matter what the world may say, and we get a supernatural ability to fulfill what God has called us to do. So on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it and he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing in Jesus' name. The cup, the blood of Jesus was shed for your salvation, protection and provision in Jesus. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you this morning. We thank you that you are in control. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to move by your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I thank you that you have said that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. And Lord, I thank you right now that you will come and just be with each one of us in Jesus' name. Lord, as we, in this, as we are in these untrying, untested, un insecure times, Father, I pray right now for a peace. Lord, I thank you for a supernatural peace to rest on us in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you right now that you are going to move by your spirit in each one of our lives. And Lord, that we will sense your presence. And Lord, that we will stand and fight for those who can't. Father, we thank you for your blessing. And Lord, I thank you for paying the price. And that we can have the power and the ability to do what we need to do on this earth. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, I thank you right now for a supernatural healing. Lord, I thank you that every single symptom in our body just leave us in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that we are healed because the word says that the body of Christ was broken. By his stripes, I was healed. Lord, I thank you that your body was broken for my healing. And I thank you that I walk in divine health today in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to just encourage you. I have, I have been, as I said, we've been monitoring things through the night. Praying with people, just bringing peace and releasing the power of God wherever we can. But I want you to know, God is busy with something in our nation. And God is using the body of Christ. And I want to say thank you for standing in that gap. All right. Don't think because we're in a place that's, that's quiet and you're okay at this point that it can stay that way. This thing can turn if we don't keep fighting in the spirit. So we keep praying, we keep standing, we keep pushing, and we know that God is busy doing something in Jesus' name. And so I want to encourage everybody, please, if you can, 8 o'clock tonight, we've got a prayer meeting. Come and join us. And the more that is standing together, and you know what is significant? Is that as you join, you are joining from all over South Africa. This is very significant for me, that you are joining from all over. As we go, we are praying peace, even over your area. Wherever you are, we stand here and we say, God, we call on the peace over the area where I am right now. Protection over the area. You might not be in war right now. You don't want to be in war. And we are going to pray this thing through, but it's not going to be done through an individual. It's going to be done through the body of Christ. And we are just going to get people coming to pray on that Zoom session. Okay, these are just South Africans who love the Lord and say, come, let's pray. And we are going to pray and we're going to seek God and we're going to constantly keep an intensity of prayer and an umbrella of God's anointing over our nation in Jesus' name. Because remember, we are fighting a spiritual thing that's trying to take our nation. It is not a natural event. The natural is impacted by the spiritual. You change the spiritual, the natural changes. And so right now in the name of Jesus, we are going to keep bombarding on the spiritual and we are going to break this thing. And we're going to bring the peace of God and the anointing of God and the power of God. And there's going to be total peace in our nation. Total peace. There will not be a civil war in our nation. There will not be anarchy in our nation. 
Jesus Christ is going to help us. The church is going to stand and spiritually be the buffer. And we need to report for duty. Saints, we call ourselves Christians. We need to act. And so I'm really serious about this. For the next few days, saints, we have to stand. We have to pray. It doesn't help us sitting down and saying how terrible this video is and how bad this is and how bad that is. That's not going to change anything. What is going to change is when we call on the living God and say, God, help us. I know that I'm feeling passionate about this, but I am passionate about our nation. I am passionate about our lives. I am passionate about every individual in South Africa. And so I'm going to call on you again and say 8 o'clock tonight. Guys, we are back. We are going to pray together. We are going to push this thing through until we see the victory in Jesus' name. That there is absolute peace in our nation. That the spirit that's trying to grip our nation has been taken care of in the spiritual. That God has helped us in Jesus' name. And so right now, we're going to pray. We're going to pray over our nation in Jesus' name. Lord, I come before you today. And Father, I thank you, first of all, for the miracles that have taken place last night. Lord, wherever there has been miracles, wherever the testimonies, where you've done something supernatural. God, it's impossible to know all of the testimonies. But Lord, I pray that you're going to move by your spirit every second of the day in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that we as the nation can stand together this morning and we can just release a calm and a peace over our nation. Lord, knowing that you'll never leave us nor forsake us. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to move by your spirit in levels that we've never seen before. Father, I pray right now that you'll bring peace even to the looters. Father, I pray right now that that spirit that's driving them, that it will stop in Jesus' name. We come against that spirit that's driving these looters in Jesus' name and we command it to cease. We command that assignment to be stopped in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we release peace over our nation. Father, we thank you that no calamity is going to continue in our nation, but that the peace of God is going to be here. And God, whatever is a demonic agenda behind the scenes, we come against that this morning. Wherever there is a plan to change and shift the status quo of, status quo of peace over our nation, we come against that in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, right now, You've just shown me that there is an agenda behind this thing. God, right now, I thank you that that agenda stops in the name of Jesus. It will not take place. Lord, we stand in agreement right now. And I thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, that you are going to do something supernatural right now in Jesus' name. Lord, that this is going to de-escalate. Lord, whatever's taking place right now. And whatever's about to happen in the next few hours, Lord, right now, I reverse this thing in the name of Jesus. Lord, I stand in the gap and with the nation and we stand together. And Lord, I pray over the next few hours, the meetings that are going to be taking place. God, you are showing me right now. Meetings are going to be taking place in the next few hours. And it's going to determine the de destiny of the next few months. God, I pray in Jesus name. That this thing be done under the unction of your spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I come against this agenda right now. I come against this demonic force that wants to take our nation into a different direction. Lord, I thank you right now that I reverse the plan and the purpose of the evil one. Father, I pray for peace over the meetings that are taking place in the next few hours. Lord, whatever's happening behind closed doors... God, I pray that you will move by your spirit right now in Jesus' name and that the outcome of the next few hours will be positive for our nation in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I thank you right now that I can stand together and we bind the agenda that is trying to grip our nation. Father, I pray for our leadership today. Lord, I pray for our president today. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you will protect him. Lord, that you will guide him and you'll direct him in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you are going to move by your spirit in Jesus' name over our leadership in our nation right now. Father, I thank you, Lord, for creative ideas, 
for creative ideas, God-given ideas. Lord, you said that if we pray for our leadership, you've got him in the leadership in the palm of your hand. You will direct him in the direction he should go. God, I ask for that direction today. Lord, that the direction of our nation will be a healthy one today. In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you right now. We can release your blessing. We can release the peace. And Lord, I pray for every single person who has even lost their homes in last night, who didn't even have a place to sleep last night. Father, I pray right now that you're going to help each and every person who is struggling. In the name of Jesus, we pray for our nation. In Jesus' name. I'm going to call right now. I'm calling for the intercessors. I'm asking that every one of the major intercessors, please, this is very urgent. I'm asking from now until 12 o'clock today, please just call and activate your intercessory networks and pray for our nation. All right, we have to cover the decisions that are being made this morning under prayer. So please, I'm calling, please spread this, get the word out. Please, I'm calling for the intercessors to pray for our nation this morning. All right, this is not necessarily the, the stuff that we see. This is stuff behind the scenes. God is showing us right now. We need to pray. Intercessors, please be activated. Let's pray over this COVID situation. Lord, I thank you right now in the name of Jesus that we come against this COVID situation in Jesus' name. Lord, we command this COVID virus to leave and dissipate and leave our nation. Lord, I pray right now that these curves come down in Jesus' name. Lord, we declare life over our nation. We declare blessing over our nation. We declare prosperity over our nation. Father, I thank you that our economy is supernaturally going to turn. And Lord, I pray in the midst of all of this, I pray your blessing over every business in Jesus' name. God, I pray for every business that has a Christian in it. Father, I thank you that they raise the altars and raise the standards. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray that the Christians will not get slack now. Lord, now is the time that we stand and we build the altars in our, in our businesses and we pray for our businesses. I pray for supernatural deals, supernatural divine connections, divine contacts and divine contracts in the midst of this economic situation. Father, I pray your blessing over the businesses in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Saints, we are really in a strategic time right now. I'm sorry if I've just changed the communion a little bit, but God is busy speaking to me as I'm sitting here. And we have to be sensitive because there are things going on that we need to take and pay attention to. And we need to be involved because it's the, up to the church to be able to sit down and restrict what Satan has planned. And so right now, I want to just say thank you very much to every believer. I want to ask you, please, if you don't mind, go to a prayingessay.co.za. Go and book. Please put it on the screen. A prayingessay.co.za. I want you to go book yourself a spot. Just one hour. Go book yourself a spot and say, listen, I'm going to pray for my nation in that hour. We don't have to get together. You pray in your own home. On that website, you go down to the bottom. You can... Download the PDF with a whole lot of scriptures that you can pray scripture. You pray those scriptures over our nation. It's all you have to do. Let me tell you something. If the nation does that, we are going to bring a supernatural anointing over our nation. All right. And so right now we have got people praying. I'm so excited. We've got people praying 24-7 every single hour of the day. There's somebody praying and lifting up our nation. But we don't want one or two. We want one in every town, one in every block. And we are going to lift up our nation for the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to call on God's mercy to have mercy on our nation. Let me tell you something. If you look at the actions of some of the things that we have done in our nation, God should have eradicated us. We should have serious judgment. And so we need to know that as we call on God's mercy, we are trusting that God is going to do something by His mercy, not because we deserve it. And so saints, I want to just thank you. I want to thank you for standing together, but I want to ask you, please, this is really important too. Every time, just even if it's just for this week, every time you're on any of our feeds, please hit that share button. You come joining the Zoom session, 
Uh, or if you're watching on Facebook, watch the Zoom prayer thing, hit that share button. Hit the communion share button. Hit the teaching stuff. Why? We're getting it out. We have to get it out. There is a fear that's trying to grip our nation. And so saints, let's do this with might and with valor in Jesus' name. All right. So please, I'm asking again, intercessors, get the word out and pray in Jesus' name for this morning. All right. Let's do our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. I have battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. 